What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and this is the first episode of Can I Run It? So, today we're gonna be testing Wolfenstein Youngblood, released in 2019. This game is a first person shooter developed by Machine Games and Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda Software. Now, one of the rules of this game is I am not going to overclock any of my parts, meaning my CPU or my GPU, unless it's impossible to run the game in its base settings. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not going to just overclock everything to make it easier for me. Well, it's because I do have an MSI motherboard that makes it very easy to overclock. I can overclock my FX4300 with 3.8 gigahertz to 4.8. Now, not all motherboards are so great to overclock, so I don't want anybody to bust their system. And because of that, I gonna be run base. Now, some games, if it happens that I do have to overclock, be the GPU or be the CPU, I'll let you guys know right on the beginning of the video. Now, there's a reason why I have chosen Wolfenstein Youngblood as the first game to be tested. As you guys can see in the comparison, Wolfenstein Youngblood and Cyberpunk 2077 closely match their minimum system requirements, so in reason of my plans for streaming Cyberpunk 2077 on its release date, I need to test a game that close matches its system requirements. So come with me down this rabbit hole and let's answer the question, can I run it? FX 4300 3.8 GHz, 12 GB of raw DDR3, and a GeForce GTX 1650 Super versus Wolfenstein Youngblood with minimum requirements of CPU Intel i5 3370 or MD FX 8350, 8 GB of RAM. And GTX 1650 GPU. Let's get ready to run it! Alright, so starting the game, it went just fine. It actually started pretty quick. So, first thing I decided to check the video settings. All right, so the game starts me off with 1280 by 720 and at low video quality, so I need to change that. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the profile to high. I'm gonna keep the same resolution for now. Just take a look how the game plays. All right, so far in the cinematics, it looks just fine, but again, it's not the gameplay. Usually it's gonna ask a little bit more from the computer. Right now I have 2060, 61 frames per second, but it's not bad. But again, I'm running at 720. All right, so for now, during the gameplay, I've been holding close kind of between 60 and 41 frames per second. The gameplay is still smooth. Now, the truth is I can't really feel the drops, and it has to do mostly because it's not dropping frame rates really fast. Uh, they're just decreasing slowly. So it's not really big, being a big issue to play. All right, so now I decide to keep on video quality on high and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and pretty much how game should be played. Now, as you guys can notice, I did have some drops to close to 30. Mostly I stayed between 50 frames per second and 40 frames per second. What didn't really affect the gameplay. As far as I could tell, the gameplay was still really smooth. You may not have the same experience if you are playing a competitive game like Overwatch, PUBG. But then again, those are games with system requirements a lot lower, so it wouldn't be an issue. 
And now just for fun, let's see how I can run 4K on high video quality profile. All right, so I was quite impressed, even on 4K on high profile, high quality, I actually kept something between 60 and 40, and the drops are not that heavy. So as far as I could tell, very playable. Doesn't matter if I'm running 1080 or 4K, I was having the same experience. All right, so just for the hell of it, I'm gonna keep on 4K and I'm gonna try to run ultra settings. All right, so as you guys can see, even the cinematics, um, yeah, the, it's just unplayable. It's going between 15 and three frames per second. So I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna change back the settings. Yeah, so now I decided to put on 4K median, even if I didn't have issues before, I was still getting drops close to 30, and 4K median allowed me to play anywhere between 60 and 45 frames per second, what is not bad at all. Um, a lot of people play 4K with 30 frames per second, so I don't think that's a big issue. And now to finalize, I'm gonna drop down the resolution to 1080p and I'm gonna try to run in main Leben. And I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody from Germany, but I don't speak German. All right, so basically as soon as I try to run on main Leben, the system already told me that the video driver has run out of dedicated video memory. So I already know I will not be able to even run the game. Uh, if before I didn't have this issue and I had huge drops from to 15 to three frames per second, that's just impossible. And that's pretty much where we get to our final answer of the day. Can we run it? Well, so the direct answer is yes, we can. Now, as an advice, I would run, if I'm running 4K, I would be running at median. Probably the best would be try to run 2.5K on high or 1080p on ultra, and the game should be pretty smooth and should cause no problems for players. Now, does that mean that I'll be able to run Cyberpunk 2077, even if I had no problems running this game? Not at all. Some of the reasons for the game not running could be one, some games rely more on CPU than GPU and vice versa. So not two games with the same requirements are the same. Number two, something not as common nowadays, but some game developers don't allow games to run if the minimum requirements are not met. Um, it's something that developers have not been doing as much today, but you still hear some horror stories of people that, well, they don't have the minimum requirements, so the game just don't even load. And three, some games have their minimum system requirement listed way above the actual requirement. So could that be the case of Wolfenstein Youngblood and I just lucked out because they put their requirements way higher than they are. Yes, it could happen. But that's why I'll be testing those games for you guys so you have an idea if you can run with a lower system or not before you even buy a game. So, if you guys got to this point, this video, thank you very much. You guys are legends. And if you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the new show. Don't forget to hit that notification bell sign. Give me a like. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the game.